Hey guys, so I'm here in Okinawa, Japan, and right now I'm at the Okinawan tunnels. The tunnels go all the way underground in different places around Okinawa. I believe they go for miles and miles all around Okinawa. I've actually been here before, about five or six years ago, and I, back then I wasn't making videos, so I wanted to show you guys the, the place here. It's super cool. Um, but the tunnels were actually made for, for the Japanese and to protect the soldiers during um, World War II. They would uh, dig out all these tunnels and whatnot um, prior and during the war, and they would use them to have a strategic advantage against the, the Gaijin or the Americans coming in. Um, and they were, they were taught many different things to be super afraid of us, so they were, they were pretty brutal against the, the U.S. people, but it was you know, a very strategic way to be able to attack from different areas and keep a lot of the troops and people you know, in a safe area. Um, a lot of their bunkers that were partially above ground, they were sadly, back then it was allowed, we were allowed to use um, flamethrowers. Now they're not allowed, I believe, because of the Geneva Conventions. They, they agree that this is in, in an a inhumane way to conduct war. So anyone who signed the Geneva Conventions agreed, you know, different things such as um, gassing and fire and, um, you know, different ways are inhumane ways to, to take, take out the enemy. Um, war, in it, war in and of itself, I don't think, is a very um, humane thing. I mean, it's it might be human because we we like conflict, but I know, I'm getting off track. Um, so here at the Okinawan tunnels, um, you can actually come up to this this beautiful site and you know walk around. It's actually on a, a hill, um, not too far from Naha. I might still actually be in. I think I am in Naha still. Um, and from up here, you can see the coast. From, I believe, the southeastern side, you can see a lot of the buildings, a lot of the different structures and stuff. You can see the river going through. And then there's um, this entrance place, I'll show it to you in a moment, but um, you can go in there, you can check out some pictures and see some of the things that happened during World War II. And then you can go down these stairs and into, I believe you pay you know, a piece, uh, I'll make sure to put that in the video up here, how much it costs to go to the tunnels. Um, but today is a Sunday and it doesn't seem super busy. So it's, it's definitely something you should check out if you're in Okinawa, Japan. Come here, check out the tunnels, do some exploring. Um, you can see uh, you know, what the living situations might have been like you know, in some of the tunnels. It's definitely been cleaned up a lot and you know, organized, obviously, because they um, do a lot of tours and things through the tunnels. But um, yeah, the, the Japanese, the Vietnamese, I think Cambodians, a lot of, a few different countries have done, use this, uh, the tunneling system as a tactic in, um, in war times. I think even the Germans had a pretty, pretty extensive uh, tunneling system in the trench warfare uh, during World War II um, on the, obviously, the, the European side. But um, I don't know if they did it much on the Russian side. I need to do a lot more studying when it comes to my history. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys like this video. Uh, if you want to come check out you know, this place and you have any questions, just let me know. Definitely put them in the comment box below. Um, subscribe if you like these videos and comment uh, and like. You know, It definitely helps out. I'm trying to grow my channel as much as possible and trying to bring you guys the best footage as I can. Um, if there's anything you guys have any recommendations, well, just let me know. But yeah, let's go, let's go uh, stop my gabbing. 